This video is going to be on how to use a smoke machine. This smoke machine is made by Redline Detection. I've had it for about five years now. It's called Smoke Pro Total Tech. I mostly use it to find uh, vacuum leaks, EVAP system leaks, and a couple times I've used it to find exhaust leaks. They've also come out with a new uh, one that's a high pressure uh, smoke machine. For, it'll be really good for uh, turbocharged uh, vehicles and uh, it'll be better on exhaust leaks. And they also make one that has a built in air compressor. So I'm going to show you this stuff up closer with all the different accessories. Okay, so this is what the smoke machine looks like up close. And it's very easy to use. You just hook this up to the compressed air. And that hooks up to the vehicle's battery. And here's where the smoke comes out of it. And it also came with this piece. Yeah, and this is their uh, new easy intake, it's called. And this you can stick in an intake uh, pipe. And it's got this uh, on it. And it's as simple as that. Then you hook the smoke machine up to this other line. And this is their uh, universal gas cap uh, thing. And this just sticks to where the gas cap goes. And it's got sticky and it lasts a long time as long as you don't get this dirty. And it and it comes with a whole bunch more little pieces that stick on here. And it also came with all these different uh, adapters where you can seal stuff off with. And this I think is the Ford, uh, for those Fords that have no gas cap, that's the adapter. Yeah, and here's the oil that goes in it to make the smoke. It also uh, came with this flashlight that hooks up to the vehicle battery. And these are for taking those valve stems out of the EVAP system. They're much bigger than like a tire. And that's the actual piece that screws onto it and the a smoke machine hooks up to it. I put these pliers in here because I, I like to sometimes pinch off different houses. Yeah, and if you're working on modern cars, this smoke machine is a must-have tool. And Redline Detection makes the best ones since they only make smoke machines. They make more accessories for them than anyone else. Okay, the vehicle I'm going to be using this on is a 2004 VW Passat. The customer says it has a misfire. I looked at the codes. The codes are a P0300 random multiple uh, misfire um, and I'm codes for a misfire on cylinders 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it also has a lean code. The most important code is that lean code. That is the reason for the misfire. So the only two main causes for a lean code are it's not getting enough fuel or it's got unmetered air entering the engine. So that's what we're going to look at. So here's the car. It's got 145,000 miles on it. Yeah, it looks like the customer's done some of his own repairs to it. And on these uh, VWs, when they have over 100,000 miles on them, the common problems are the vacuum lines going bad, this plastic dipstick tube breaks a lot of times. And on the ones that have a plastic valve cover with a PCV valve in it, those PCV valves go bad all the time. So now I'm going to hook the smoke machine up to it. And what I'm going to do is use this easy intake on this hose here. I'm going to take this off the air cleaner. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera.
And also on this car, the battery is up here. Yeah, so I just rolled this tow card over here to set this on because this hood won't support that weight. Yeah, so the first thing you're going to do is hook the air up to it. And then we're going to hook this up to the battery, which is over here. Yeah, then you just push the button and that red light comes on. And it's going to take a minute before smoke starts coming out. See, it's already doing it. Yeah, then we're going to have to wait a few minutes for the smoke to go through everything. And we can see something's leaking over here. Yeah, I'm going to take this uh, coolant reservoir off so we can see this better on camera. Yeah, and I just went and tied this uh, coolant reservoir out of the way so I can show this on camera. But there is a broken plastic vacuum tee down here. And it's right here. It connects all three of these lines together. And see how fast and easy that was to find that lake with the smoke machine? And some of these cars, it's very hard to see anything under the hood because there's so much stuff in the way. And without a smoke machine, it'll take you a long time to find the problem. Yeah, and you can see how bad it runs. And watch when I put my finger over the lake. How it runs much better. And on this car, I'm also going to replace the timing belt and water pump. The customer wants that done. Yeah, many years ago, I had a car I worked on, and I pulled the intake manifold off, and then I found out it was just a vacuum hose that was bad. If I had one of these, I could have fixed that in a matter of minutes. And I will put a link to Redline Detection's uh, website in the description. And there's also an old video I made with this a long time ago. I'll put that up in the corner there somewhere in the video.